Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to talk about the largest testosterone study to date. This was a VA study looking at men over 15-year time period. A total of 83,000 men with low testosterone were followed between 1999 and 2014. They did exclude men who had previously had a heart attack or stroke, otherwise it was open to all men in the VA. The men in the study were broken into three groups, men that had low testosterone and were given testosterone and actually did follow up blood tests and were therapeutic or treated appropriately. The second group was men who were given testosterone but never obtained therapeutic blood levels. And the third group was men who never took testosterone. They compared men who took testosterone to therapeutic blood level with men who did not take testosterone at all, and the men who took testosterone were 56% more likely to be alive at the end of the study. So more than double the men died of all causes who did not take testosterone than men who took testosterone. The risk of heart attack was decreased by 24% in men who took testosterone, the risk of stroke was decreased by 36% in men who took testosterone and were therapeutic. They also compared men who took testosterone but never obtained therapeutic blood levels to men who did not take testosterone at all and their numbers were very similar. So a very large retrospective cohort study showing that all cause mortality was decreased while taking testosterone therapy appropriately. Uh, this uh, corresponds with many previous studies showing that all-cause death is decreased. Uh, the author did not conclude what the reason for the significant benefit was, but as we've discussed in the past, uh, insulin resistance is probably improved with testosterone. You have less fat, you have more muscle mass, you may be more physically active, cholesterol gets better, blood pressure gets better, diabetes gets better, as we talked about in the European study. So the largest of its kind, 83,000 men over 15 years, you were more than 50% more likely to be alive at the end of the study if you took testosterone therapeutically. So it's not just a matter of taking testosterone, but making sure you have follow-up with your doctor, that your blood levels are in the therapeutic range, not low or high. Um, you do have to remember to check blood counts and estradiol levels in your prostate as well. But um, a very reassuring study that testosterone replacement in men is appropriate, um, absolutely in the face of the FDA, who says that men should not take testosterone based on age-related decreases, meaning a 55-year-old man with low testosterone should not take it, according to the FDA. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.